Hi, my name's Dr. Rue Rose and I run the protein production facility here at Queen Mary University of London. We have two labs as part of the School of Biological and Chemical Sciences. The first lab is based up in Mile End where we work with scientists looking at everything from plastic degradation by bacteria right up to sex selection um, in turtles. Down here at the Blizzard Institute in Whitechapel, we're much more closely linked with clinicians and physiologists, which means that our focus is much more on medical science. So here we have labs that look at, for example, tuberculosis and the proteins involved in the secretion systems there. In order to study the structure and function of proteins, we tend to produce our proteins recombinantly. In this instance, we use E. coli and we can grow E. coli to produce our protein. We tend to grow E. coli in volumes of at least a litre, sometimes up to 16 litres at a time. And from there, we grow our culture, we harvest the cells, and then we lyse the cells open. Once we've lysed the cells, we have to separate our protein from the E. coli proteins. And we do this using a variety of chromatographic techniques. For example, the act of pure. So this is the act of purification system that we do most of our purifications on. Um, it's great because it, we can separate proteins according to their size, their charge and all the variety of different um, fundamental properties of the protein. And in this instance we've got a size exclusion chromatography column. Um, so we load our sample on here, it goes through the tubing, through the system and then loads onto the column. And this is a size exclusion column so we separate according to size and the faster proteins will tumble straight through really quickly and the slower proteins will go into the pores and come through more gradually. So it comes through the column and then through out the other side and it's detected by a UV detector so we can monitor the output and then it's collected into smaller fractions here for assessment afterwards to assess purity.